Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Eagles going up against the Patriots. So let's go now to Miami, Florida, where Jim and Phil are on the call. The biggest game in all of sports is mere moments away. Everything is set for the Super Bowl matchup between the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles here at Sun Life Stadium. Two weeks of buildup, and at last, the Super Bowl is upon us. A final thought before kickoff. And dreams do come true. You are in the Super Bowl. But just remember this. Everything you do here will be remembered. Everything you did leading up to it, it's gone and forgotten. How you play today is how people are going to think of you. to bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, with the report from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. We've called the Super Bowl together for so many years now, but each year it just gets even more exciting. And this year the spectacle is at an all-time high once again. We've got two teams who have been chomping at the bit to finally get out here and chase down that Lombardi trophy. Back Thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Patriots are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The Eagles ready here for the kickoff. Super Bowl 53 is officially underway with a champion about to be crowned. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. So we've got a young quarterback with some experience stepping onto the field today for the first time. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent, and it's just a matter of time until he takes that experience and matches it with all of his talent and becomes one of the... Guys that we say, hey, the game is going to hinge. The Patriots offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. The Patriots from the 22 gets the handle here. Tackle made by Bennett that time. And with this starting unit, as usual, the attention goes to the wide receivers who so often open up the game. The Patriots from the 22. Williams got it on a pass, has some heat on it. Got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time. And he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. From the gun. Throws the pass. 
two hands on the football and has the catch. Well, these tight ends in the NFL now, they make the catches down the field. They're fast. They can do it all. And everybody is looking for that all-in-one. A guy that can block at the line of scrimmage, who can catch the football well, and has the speed to make it happen once he catches it. And off made. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. As we take a look at the defense for the first time today, these starters and the secondary will be challenged today in both the passing and running games. The Patriots take it from the 38. The catch is made by Justin Forsett. Picks up eight here. Coaches love it when there's a pass thrown and whoever catches that ball, if they can break a tackle, that's just an extra yard. So that's what you're looking for, and that's what it takes to be a winning football team. From the shotgun. And Niles Paul has the catch. Games 14. Well, if you guard the tight end close, and sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. First and ten, the give. Rams there that time for the tackle. The Patriots, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football, and it picks up some good solid yards. Great job by the offensive line. Let's go. Second down and five. Here's the handoff and no run. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. Michael's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Snap it out of the gun. He's in for the touchdown, but there is, there is a flag down. The defense will take the penalty. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Let's go. Third and 11. Williams with the catch. And that's a gain of nine. I think that's playing it pretty safe, throwing that short pass on third long. I thought he had a chance to throw it down the field. He just couldn't pull the trigger and let it go. And he converts here on the field goal try. That field goal gives them a leg up here midway through the first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all that practice was worth it. There is a flag out. And the illegal block in the back is going to move this team back. Yeah, you know, Jim, the rule of thumb here is if you can read the name on the back of the jersey, don't block it. The Patriots with a nickel look here on defense. Running room. And now the slot. That's a really smart job that time by the quarterback. Pick up all the yards you can. And before you're going to get hit, Slide in there like you're going to second base. Here we go. First down and ten. Matthews has the catch. And Matthews is met after a gain of three. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. The Eagles have it at the 24. Makes the reception. The Eagles do a really good job this time on offense. The quarterback throws the ball short. They pick up a few yards, and now it makes third down much easier. And now he'll take the snap and just surge ahead.
the Patriots lined up in the nickel. First and ten. And now he'll take off. Throw it to the outside. And they've got the hookup. That's a nice job. You knew this was going to happen. And the coach disagrees with the call on the field. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must, must maintain possession of the football as you go to the ground. So the challenge pays off. The referee overturns the play. Yeah, good challenge by the coach that time, Jim. The evidence was clear. And always, I think when you're a head coach in the NFL, you better have a trusted friend up there to tell you, watch the TV, and let you know when the challenge. Good job by the head coach. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time... The play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the foot. And they got the quarterback. Oh my gosh, when you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? And they'll get to him again for the sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. The Eagles on offense here to start the second quarter. Can they overcome the sack? Third down on the way. The Patriots come out in a dime package. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. A foot race to the end zone. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. And here in quarter number two, they've taken the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, the offensive coordinator, boy, he's got to be happy with the play calls and the execution by the players on the offensive side. That was a good, smart drive. The Patriots set up for the kick return. They've just lost the lead, so need to try and respond. Scores 7-3. to three. He's got a chance to return this one. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Patriots back onto the field now to get another drive started. They came away with a field goal in their last possession, Phil, but had to be a letdown because they were really moving the football. Oh, I think you're right. They had to be let down. You, you execute so many good plays going down the field, and you just need that one to get you in the end zone. They did not do that. So, Jim, I think you're right. I think they were a little down about that field goal. Let's go. Second and nine. Here's the handoff. They'll mark him at the 28. Third down. He'll take the snap from the gun. Launching it deep. Comes away with it. How about how high he went up in the air to get that one? Unbelievable job that time. And again, that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that go up and make catches like that. Barwin gets to him for the sack. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback, they are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we saw it that time on display. The Patriots have it at the 44. That's a gain of eight. It's always good for the quarterback to really do a good job faking the pass right before the draw play. Get the defensive lineman up the field, get the linebacker dropping back for the pass, and there's an open gap that the running back took advantage of. Offense. 
Third down after the penalty. The Patriots need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Makes the reception. That's a pickup of 14. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. And the kick is good for three. That field goal brings them closer to the lead here midway through the second quarter. Yeah, you know, and midway in the second quarter, you know, players, they start watching that scoreboard and just like the coaches because they know halftime is looming and they want to be in a good frame of mind when they go in at halftime. That returns good for about 29. The Eagles preparing to get things going again on offense. They took it all the way on their previous possession, mostly getting it done through the air. Yeah, they got the leader, don't they? That quarterback, he takes control. The suit pass is intercepted. And in for the touchdown. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the interception perfectly. You make the catch. And you take it all the way back for the score. The Eagles looking for a big return and hoping to find a way to regain the lead. Scores 13 to 7. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Watching the ball fly deep down the field has been something we've grown accustomed to seeing today, Phil. And it's led to a bunch of big plays and touchdowns. It's so exciting to see the football thrown deep down the field and a guy catches it and runs for a touchdown. It's like going to a baseball game and seeing a home run. You're watching something special. And Jim, we have seen that here in this game today. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. The Eagles now coming to the line. Been a closely contested game so far. The scores 13 to 7. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Mayo wraps him up. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense. They do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free. And that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Let's see how they back up the big play here from the gun. Easy catch there. No one near him. The Eagles coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down. They throw it. They pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Matthews is tackled down at the 45. Matthews is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Out of the shotgun formation. He's got the catch. Picks up eight here. The Eagles did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some some nice yards now, second and short, really puts the defense in a tough position. The Eagles are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. The Eagles from the 37, scrambling now. He's got some daylight. And now he'll slide. Good job that time by the quarterback sliding. The team, you are valuable to them throwing the football, not running. Slide before you take that hit. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. It's Eagles in the end zone. Brown's second touchdown of the game. 
Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get over to make the catches. The Patriots are hoping for the big return to set up some scoring possibilities before the intermission as they've now fallen behind the scores 14 to 13. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Patriots put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just the field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown, and it doesn't. The ball is out, and the defense has it. Good job by the defense that time, creating a fumble. And that is truly a takeaway because that hard hit took the football away from the runner. The Eagles' offense definitely has it in gear, but, Phil, their defense keeps giving up these same scores, so it's got to be very hard for this offensive unit to stay confident because they know they can't stop them on the other end. Well, you know what they're thinking. Hey, our defense stinks today, and they're right. Boy, it is having one rough day, but the offense is rolling. So when the offense is rolling, keep it moving. Keep throwing the football to the open guy. And the man intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Patriots will try to hold on to the football. This has been one big turnover after another, Phil. Just what the coaches talked about in our meetings with them this week about ball security. It's not happening here. Well, I'm telling you, the players did not listen to the coaches, that's for sure, because ball security is not what we're seeing out there. I know this. Next week in practice, there's going to be a lot of drills about hanging on to the football. Complete to Jeffrey. That's a gain of eight. The Patriots call the timeout. They're first. After that grab, it's now second down and two. Let's go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Hey. Has space. And that's a gain of ten. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. The snap will come at the 33. The Patriots lined up. Everybody split out wide. Out of the shotgun. In the end, it picks up only a yard. The Eagles' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. The Patriots from the 32. Looking across the middle. Williams tackled down at the 24. That's his fourth catch. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them. Third and short. The Patriots have it at the 24. Got a flag down here. Touchdown, New England. Defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. The Patriots for the extra point. Extra point was good. The Eagles getting ready to field the kick. Halftime is fast approaching in a game where they now trail. The score's 20 to 14. Still on his feet. And he fails to get out to the 20. And he is smacked down at the 15-yard line. The Eagles offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim. But you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Intercepted! Take a quick break before the beginning of the second half. 
here in South Florida. The second half is underway, and both of these teams can envision the championship right now. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. The Patriots defense heads onto the field here to start the second half, looking for another stop, and once again to get the ball back to their offense as they're leading in this one here early third, Phil. I like what they did in the first half. The defense goes in here at halftime. They get a little rest, so come out here and show that energy and take advantage of the situation and make some plays. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Knocked down as he fires it. In this league now, you have so many talented receivers who can go down the field and make tough catches that you can design a play that might give you a chance to pick up this first down, even though it's long. The Eagles take it from the 23. Ertz with the catch. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. The Eagles will take the snap from the 30. And a flag is down. Penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. The Eagles will punt it. He's going to try and return this one. Game 14. Got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. We're back after the injury timeout, and Danielle Bellini will have the update on the injury in just a moment. The Patriots take it from the 38. They'll run it here. So in on the tackle. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. Second down and seven. Heaving it down the field. And he comes down. No, the defender tips it out. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. The Patriots come to the line. First down marker is at the 48. The Patriots snap it at the 41. And this will be incomplete. It'll be a three and out. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. Thomas has got it at the 11. Thomas is marked down after a gain of four. And a run back of about four. The Eagles weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim. And you do that by showing different formations of plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. Oh, that's a bad business to be in. I know, I get a lot of bad businesses. Matthews, right side. Matthews is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Eagles have to get to the 25 to move the chains. They'll go shotgun here. In the hands of Zach Ertz. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. 
Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. It's up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Matthews is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Halfway through the third quarter. Got a flag. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. After the penalty, it's second down and 12. The Patriots will come out in the dime. Takes it from the gun. And it's just thrown away. Well, but it's third long. I'll just say this. Be very careful on the offensive side. The Eagles will look to get to the 29 to pick up a first. And they take him down. we got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. No chance to return this one as that punt is headed to the sidelines. Close game right now, partner, and you look at the matchup at running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. Get ready. Handoff out of the eye. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second and eight. Handoff. Trying to power his way right up the middle. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. Double tight end formation. Third down and six. Makes the catch in the open field. That's another reception giving him two. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down following the long play. To the ground. And that game's won. They have the lead, but they have no running game to speak of to this point. That may change here down the stretch, trying to take the air out of the football. Yeah, you're going to have to run it some just to work the clock and try to get the situations in your favor. But maybe every once in a while, he's picked off again. Tackles made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Eagles bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. Let's run! Let's run! The Eagles have it at the 44. He's scrambling now. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. From the shotgun. Going to try and scramble now. Gives himself up. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. The Eagles, good job that time. Moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got your, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. I'm just going to give the defense a lot of credit for all these sacks they've got here today. They take him down one more time. When you got this much talent on the defensive side, 
You're going to sack the quarterback. Gets about four yards that time. The Eagles have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. The Patriots go with the dime formation here on defense. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three, or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time, the defensive coordinator sends the blitz, and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. A punt just like it was drawn up, and now the defense has them backed into the corner. The Patriots bring their offense back onto the field here, trying to avoid a repeat of the mistake on their last drive, which was, of course, an interception. Yeah, you're looking for a way to get that momentum back, and how do you do that with a good play call on first down? Catch the defense off guard, get some momentum on the offense, give your players confidence so they can let it go. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. Second and ten. They'll go Brown. And making the stop is Malcolm Jenkins. I got to give this running back a lot of credit. How about that? He fumbled earlier in the game, but now he is running free, uh, just all out, and getting those extra yards after the hit. They'll go Brown. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. All set to punt here. Thomas has got it at the 23. Keeps churning ahead. This is such a great athlete. You've got to find ways to get the football to him. Here's another way to get it to him. On a punt return, how explosive is he? Man, there, that's the answer. First down at the 40. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. That's his third catch of the day. The Eagles did a good job that time. That play is going to be challenged. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must must maintain possession of the football as you go to the ground. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout. And they fail to overturn the call on the field. You know what you do in situations like this? You fire the guy upstairs who told him, throw the flag, coach. Well, what do you got to say now? It was a terrible call, terrible decision, and you lose a timeout. He's wide open for the grab. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Tight ends are becoming a bigger and bigger part of the passing offense in the NFL. It leads to a touchdown this time. Nice job by the big guy just getting in position to make the catch. Makes the PAT. The Patriots' return team is in position. Perhaps they can run one out pretty deep and shift the momentum. The scores 21 to 20. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. The Patriots' offense has been nowhere in sight here for quite a while. Three consecutive drives that have come away empty. What about it, Phil? That is the old phrase, MIA. They are definitely missing in action because there's no action on the offensive side. It's time for the quarterback to call the right plays and help his team out and get this thing moving. The defense will take the penalty. 
The Patriots will come to the line. Still a very close game here in the fourth quarter. The scores 21 to 20. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Williams had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Williams is not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times you see a receiver drop a pass. They take their eyes off it. That's one thing. Or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. Running room. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. This is third down. The Patriots come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. And the pass is thrown away. There's a fine line there when you're winning the football game. What do you do? Coordinator stayed aggressive, and he forces a fourth down by the offense. Thomas got it at the seven. Colbert's there to make the tackle. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. The Eagles offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. The Patriots pride themselves on their defense, but it hasn't been a strength for them here today. Yeah, they do, but listen, it's not working today. They've been out there for a lot of plays, and you know what is happening? They have fatigue, and when you have fatigue on the defensive side, what goes? You can't think clearly, and you just keep making bad mistakes. Is brought down. You see the offensive totals for these teams, and it's been about two teams getting it done in different ways. What we're seeing is two different philosophies on the offensive side from these teams here today, Jim. And it doesn't matter. Two minutes remaining in this nail biter. Can the offense hold on to the football and run out the clock? It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. No surprise, they immediately call the timeout. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. And Matthews is tackled down after a gain of two. Coming up to the line at the 13-yard line. Matthews in the backfield, single back set. The Eagles come out in the pistol, second down and eight. And Matthews is brought down. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Third down now. Drop back, shotgun formation. Very nearly intercepted. All right, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. The way you come out there on the field as a defense, the offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. 
he'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Kiko Alonso coming onto the field now. And it looks like this defense could more or less wrap up the game if they can get another big stop right here, partner. Jim, they can't. There's no doubt about it. Now, do you have the wherewithal? In other words, you just you can't worry about, oh, if we do something wrong, we're going to lose. No, don't think that way. Be positive and make that play. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First down at the 24. ready to officially chalk up the victory. The interception has them in a very safe position with very little time left on the clock. Well, they got stars on the defensive side. We've talked about that. They're smart. They did the right things. Their fundamentals were just solid all day long, and it led them to victory. The Eagles offense doesn't want to do anything to screw this one up at this point, Bill. They've got the lead, and they've got the football late in the game. Ah, oh, you're such a positive guy, Jim. I like that comment. Go down there and tell them that. Don't screw it up. But what do you do in a situation like this? I always like to try to draw the defense off sides on first down because they're anxious, and you can take advantage of that. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead. And you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the deep. The Philadelphia Eagles have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy is going back to the city of brotherly love. Super Bowl champions. An unbelievable year ending with a great Super Bowl victory. How do you handle the pressure? They handled it well, and handling that pressure was the difference. That's why they won the game. Brotherhood will never be stronger than this moment. All the dreams coming out of youth. Overwhelming. To realize a dream from the playgrounds. Do all the practices. To one day have your hands on the Lombardi Trophy. Now that moment is realized for the rest of your life you'll be remembered as a super